Vesico ureteric reflux, or VUR, happens when your wee or urine flows the wrong way in your body. Urine usually flows down from your kidneys to your bladder. In VUR, the urine flows back up the wrong way, and we call this reflux. It puts you at an increased risk of infections, and this may change how your kidneys look and make them work less well than normal. Also, sometimes the kidneys themselves aren't formed normally when you have VUR, so it's important we look for this. Let's remind ourselves what our kidneys do to keep us healthy. They clean our blood by removing waste, extra salt and water to produce urine or wee. Help control our blood pressure and tell our body to make new red blood cells and they keep our bones healthy. You may not notice anything or you may have problems emptying your bladder. Reflux makes it easier for bugs to grow, causing a urine infection. And you may have a fever, tummy pain, wee a lot, wet yourself, notice stinging when you wee, or have smelly wee. If the infection travels up to your kidneys, you may become more poorly or have pain in your back, along with a high temperature. Sometimes reflux is noticed early, while a baby is in their mother's tummy due to swelling or stretching of the ureters or kidneys. It can also be picked up in children later when scans done, for example, after a urine infection. We look to see which type of reflux you have, primary or secondary. Primary reflux is a problem with the ureters only and can be found on one or both sides. This usually starts when you're inside your mother's tummy. Secondary reflux is usually seen on both sides if it is due to a blockage or narrowing in the urethra or a problem with the signals between your bladder and your brain or on one side if there's a swelling where the ureta enters the bladder. A scan of your tummy is usually done first to check on whether the ureters or kidneys look stretched or widened. Sometimes you can have reflux even when they aren't. This is why we may do other scans. In babies, an MCUG or cystogram is a special x-ray test done whilst they are weeing to check for reflux using a dye placed in their bladder with a small tube. Other scans may be performed if you're older, where a dye is injected into one of your veins to see what happens to it when it reaches your kidneys. The scans allow us to measure the amount of reflux. We may also check how well you empty your bladder. You may be asked to wee into a special toilet and then have a bladder scan. We may ask you to keep a diary of how often you wee or poo as well. In most people, VUR will slowly get better on its own, especially if it's mild. However, until it does, you may be more likely to get urine infections. To prevent this, your doctor may prescribe an antibiotic to take each day for some time. Let someone know if you notice any of these signs of urine infection so that your urine can be tested. Go to the toilet regularly to wee even if you don't feel the need. Follow your doctor's advice on the right way and how often to wee. They may ask you to double void where you wee, wait at the toilet for a short time and wee again. Follow good toilet habits such as wiping front to back. Your doctor will let you know how much to drink. Eat the right foods to avoid constipation as this can increase your chances of getting a urine infection. You may have long-term follow-up with your doctor, but only a few children will need anything more. This may include medicine to control your blood pressure if the kidneys have become scarred, placing a catheter to empty your bladder regularly if your bladder emptying is very abnormal, or surgery to correct the problem. This is only needed in a few children, 
usually those with frequent infections who haven't responded to the things already mentioned. We hope that you have found this information on VUR useful. To find out more, visit these websites.